Self-mastery can mean different things to different people. For me, self-mastery means mastering our energy. It means learning how to work with our energy, not against it. Now, in order to learn how to work with our energy, we first have to understand it. I believe we were all created with our own unique energy signature, and our birth chart helps us to understand the characteristics of our energy. So for me, self-mastery involves taking the time to understand our birth chart. I believe our birth chart is God's way of helping us to understand the energy of the planets and how they influence our unique energy signature. Our chart helps us to understand the energy of our personality. It helps us to understand how our energy is affected by the different areas of life. When we use our birth chart to help us understand our unique energy signature and how planetary transits affect us, we're able to learn how to work with our energy at different times of the year. I believe self-mastery involves mastering the art of forgiveness. How we treat ourselves and others has a direct effect on our energy. As long as we're in human form, mistakes are inevitable. And when we're unable to forgive ourselves and others, we continue to carry the negative energy. As Maya Angelou once said, when we know better, we do better. End quote. We all make mistakes. But dwelling on past mistakes will continue to affect our energy as if it's happening over and over and over again. Because it is. Remember, time is an illusion and our energy can't tell the difference. I believe self-mastery involves learning how to pause. There's power in learning how to pause. As long as we're in human form, emotions are part of our experience. And learning how to manage our emotions are one of the ways we can master our energy. I'm sure we've all had the experience of getting caught up in the moment and the energy driving our reaction caused us to say and do things we later regretted. Pausing, on the other hand, will help us to diffuse our negative energy. And this can be accomplished in many ways. Going for a walk, looking up at the sky, or simply taking a few deep breaths are just some examples. Another way we can pause is by writing or recording our response. This method allows us to see ourselves from a third person perspective, so we can determine if our response is truly accurate. Pausing is powerful as it gives us a chance to calm down and transmute our energy. I have found that when I make the effort to pause, my energy is calm and my communication is more intentional. Now, I have to admit, this is not always easy to do, as some situations can be challenging. Needless to say, it's an ongoing process for me, but the results are well worth the effort.
I believe self-mastery involves expecting the unexpected. When we come from a place of expecting the unexpected, we're seldom caught off guard. When we hope for the best and prepare for the worst, we're less likely to be blindsided. In other words, when we come from a place where nothing surprises us, our energy feels empowering. When we accept that there will be things in life we can't control, and when we accept that things will happen that we'll never understand, and when we release the need to know and trust in a higher power, our energy will feel at peace. In other words, expecting the unexpected is the difference between No! God! No! God! Please, no! And, okay, what can I do right now? It's the difference between No! 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 And, what's my next step? The key is to stay calm, keep our intentions pure, and continue taking guided action. It's about going with the flow of all the ups and downs of life. It's all part of the process of being human. See, I believe no one is exempt from the process of life or what I personally refer to as the contract. I believe no one is exempt from challenges and struggle. It's all part of the process. However, we do get to decide how we're going to handle it. And this is how we develop self-mastery. I have a quote I'd like to share with you. This quote is by Oscar Wilde. A man who is master of himself can end a sorrow as easily as he can invent a pleasure. Let me repeat that. A man who is master of himself can end a sorrow as easily as he can invent a pleasure. See, I really believe it's that simple. Well, this is all I have for today. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you have any questions or you'd simply like to connect, feel free to do so through my personal email. I've listed it in the description below. Until we meet again, be safe and make sure to keep paying attention to your karma. It's our greatest teacher.